One question people are beginning to ask is, um, for the next 10 years at least, is marketing the new finance? Now, that's probably a slightly overly optimistic phrase. I'm not sure, by the way, that I want marketing to have the complete dominance in an organisation that finance once had. What seems to be happening, though, and I think we can see happening over the next 10 years, is people realise that many of the problems that beset businesses at the moment are not only numerical problems, they actually involve human emotions. That actually the business of reawakening consumer confidence, of actually um, of, re of, of creating more customer demand, is actually something that requires abstract nouns as well as just spreadsheets to solve. And so I think there is a rebalancing going on where people are more likely to talk to marketers now than they were um, a few years ago because they actually understand that um, their business doesn't merely depend on uh, an interesting cash flow. It also depends on an awful lot of abstract nouns like trust, uh, confidence, affection, warmth, loyalty, and so on. Now, I think what you're seeing is that after a period of where business was such a sort of reductionist uh, financial exercise where anybody in the room who didn't have a spreadsheet was more or less not allowed to speak. I think what you're seeing now is, um, in the words of one of our clients in the United States, you know, maybe now uh, it's time to talk to some people with a little bit of emotional intelligence rather than just numeracy. And I think you are seeing a rebalancing going on where people realise that uh, um, the answers to all problems aren't necessarily to be found by a re-crunching of numbers.